this is the third annual was that just passed. Um, it first started as a cruise, um, and what we wanted to do was cruise down federal. And the idea was we don't want to be harassed, we don't want the culture to be shunned and treated how it was. As a matter of fact, we want it to be celebrated. Um, and so we did that. We started at Barnum Park, and then we cruised, and then we ended here. But first year we started, we had like 300 people. Second year, we had like 500. This year, it was like 2,000 people. Uh, so it's a growing event, and I think that it's just kind of shaped itself into being La Raza Park Day. It just makes the most sense. Um, but we really did want to connect neighborhoods, and we did want to cruise from different communities. The people that do believe in this land as being sacred land, and that even before our Chicano fight for this land existed, that, you know, there was, there was indigenous people here. Uh, and so to bless the land and, and, and give love to it, and the park is important for us. Um, to provide a, a place that's sacred and to, to love it, you know, that, that idea. Um, so I think it's important for that reason. I think it's also important for maybe the people that don't know, that are just curious to see, to get, get to see that we're attached to our history as well, and we're celebrating that. It, it draws everybody in to this moment of unity at the beginning of our event, which is important. I think that that energy resonates throughout the whole event. We'd like to, uh, in the future even, come out and do ceremonies in the park the day prior. The, the conceptual idea of a lowrider, if you, you can put it in a museum, like in an art museum, not a car museum, you can put it in a, you could put it in a contemporary museum, you could put it in a, a, a museum that shows folk art. Usually when we get these cars, they're not off the lot. We didn't, that American dream of the suburb and the Impala, and you know, or, or you know, my, I have a 53 and like I seen the ads where that was like, um, the door-to-door -door salesman's business coop, you know, that kind of thing. Like, that wasn't our American dream that was sold to us, but we were able to grab a piece of that Americana, but what we do is like, we take our own with it and we customize it. And, and then you have this, this very American thing cruising through the streets and, and owning the streets or even being celebrated by the streets as it's passing through. And it has a mural with, with the homage to our heritage. Like for me, uh, on the artist tip, um, beyond all the, the, the shiny paint and the chrome and, and, and the engines and the way it feels to drive it and all that, it just represents so many things that are dear to my heart. Um, so that's why I love lowriders. Um, and, but then outside of, of that, you have the community part of it. You have all the different people cruising. You know, every Sunday, we go to Berkeley, there's so many families out there and over time you get to know everyone and it's this big community. That's a beautiful part of it too. Um, you know, working hard, learning, learning mechanics, learning to work with your hands, passing the cars down. There's so much tradition there. All of them things are, you know, but, but that, that symbol of it too, of the Chicano driving by and, and luxury you know, and beauty. And, and when you pass another car on the street and like people acknowledge and, you know, and even, even if you're not of that culture, people still wave and, and, and they love seeing it. Um, so, you know, all them things make it beautiful.